Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Romance of the Three Kingdoms 14. I think this is 14. I'm serious, JG. Shooting Yaomo. I wanted to pronounce that right once. Uh, no promises that it will ever happen again. Alright, we are starting, for me, a new session. Been away from the game for a couple of, well, two weeks or so. But if I recall correctly, We've been kicking butt recently. Um, got a lot of guys out searching. That's important. <laughs> we are... Actually... Gonna go ahead because uh, it looks like if... It looks like Lu Bu is doomed. And um, if we don't take uh, Pu Yang now, uh, Liu Bei will take it. Unfortunately for us, it looks like... Well, we could get lucky, and uh, Ping Yuan could fall before we take um, Pu Yang. But, well, we should actually try to time it that way now that I think about it, because we could have Lu Bu working for us, but only if, uh, yeah. It looks like Ping Yuan is going to fall first, and if it does, then Lu Bu and his remaining officers will retreat here and will take them, or will capture them. The only way this could go wrong is if we take Pu Yang first, or if we take Pu Yang so shortly after um, Ping Yuan falls that Lu Bu and his officers are still in transit. In which case, they will become free officers and can just show up wherever. But uh, we, yeah, I'm, I hadn't thought about this uh, until just now. But we need to time this trip in such a way that uh, we can hopefully take Lubu as a prisoner. Along with uh, whoever else doesn't join. I wonder what city everyone is actually in. Oh, Yan Chi. I forget who she is, but the portrait is familiar. Lu Bu's wife. Okay. Um. She stopped him from being deployed. Yeah, she's kind of one of the things uh, about Lu Bu in the novel that you're supposed to think makes him terrible is that he listens to uh, women. So his wife, like, is fretting and telling him not to go out into battle at a point where him going out to battle might have been the last way to save his own ass. Um, and Diao Chan tells him the same thing. She's like, no, don't go out and leave us. Um, this is Cao Cao's concubine. She ended up with divorcing Quinn Yilu after Yuan Shu made him marry another woman while he was away from home. When Lu Bu died, she got new ass Cao Cao for her hand marriage. Took her as his concubine. I don't know why I'm suddenly reading about all the ladies, but I am. Um, okay. So Lu Bu and the gang are actually in. Uh, yeah. The officers who matter for Lu Bu's force are here. So I think as long Diao Chan is here, um, Zhang Liao is here, Lu Lin Qi and Lu Bu himself are here. Okay, so we need to try to time this properly. We need to make sure that Ping Yuan... A, that we take it instead of Liu Bei. And B, we need to make sure that Ping Yuan falls first. Although, Ping Yuan might not fall at all. They're not using any siege weapons. We'll have to see how it goes. Okay, fingers crossed, next couple of turns. It would be nice if we actually took Liu Bu. Oh, I meant to actually check and see what else is going on, but... We've lowered the morale of Li Jui's army. Zhu Huang get up by 16. The strike is sure to have a large effect later. Yeah, I kind of forgot. Um, there was stuff going on out west, too. So we have a couple people found some gold, but 
by and large they didn't as a provoked tome found by Yuan Yin. I meant to come see what's going on over here because we've got a... Uh, Zhang Zhui. Yeah, Zhu Huang, who uh, basically drove back. Uh, ooh. Drove back um, Tollpanzer, and then I had Tollpanzer come back again because he might need to harass these troops. We've got uh, Li Zhui himself with uh, Zhu Huang leading uh, support troops. He's trying to come out and attack. Yeah, I'd forgotten this whole situation here. There's a lot to keep our eyes on. Alright, well, we're creeping up on Puyang. And we've got, um... I'm blanking on your name. Jun Yu, who's one of the South Tsao strategists. He's uh, going to intercept those uh, Wapats, but I kind of forgot we've got these jerks. Ma Chao is, is out here. Bandits messing this stuff up. I don't know how well this is going to all go. See, Toll Panzer, I probably should have pulled you back when I said I was going to pull you back. So, whatever happens here, this isn't really on you. This is you, this is the terrible strategy of uh, of your leader. Oh, I meant to be resuming progress there. Finn, don't let the enemy win. It's going to be a real battle of attrition there. Reports have come in that the locust damage of Beihai has been suppressed. The Zhu army is currently advancing on Yangping Gate. We must stop it. Rally Tome. Bobo found an Inspire Tome. Gold, gold. I forgot about the, the people thing. I can use this to see whether or not we've gotten any success out of this searching. We've got quite a few tomes. We've got quite a few officers on the move. Li Hu is now mine. And uh, Shang Yang seems to be having financial troubles. As always. I think it's time for you to just try to retreat. Because even even if you win that battle, which you probably will. They're gonna they're gonna stop you from getting to my May me are you and um, you're certainly not gonna have enough force left to do anything about Li Jui. That's gonna be wow. Okay, so he managed to get himself cut off from his supplies. I'm not sure how. Uh, somehow. I don't know. Got Ma Tang himself coming out to help his sonny boy here. But uh, Ma Chao and Ma Tang are... I guess they were attacking bandits, but they're going to end up attacking us too. And I don't see a way to make peace with these guys. They're like Frico, Frico Han loyalist nutburgers. They're never going to be friends to you, on you? So, fuck them. But... It would be nice to not have them getting in the way as we're trying to deal with Li Jui. So we're just going to have to see how this uh, works out. You can find me. I 
I think I need to take a few um, Because Wudu will keep advancing its territory and cut off our supplies, which would be... What's going to happen is we'll be fighting up here, and then this stupid orange is going to creep in and, and cut us off uh, in an annoying ass way. So I want to actually relay my way to here, and then head for Qian, which I think uh, we won't be able to get there before Zhu Huang takes it, but... Xu Huang being quite the pain in the butt for us, actually. It's going to take forever for anyone to reinforce, but... Um, Shenyang, the city they said was having economic trouble. Could be. We got Dian Wei recruiting and Cao Hong training there. It was, it was one of the ones that starts with an F, but, uh, S, but I can't remember now if it was Shang Yong or Shochun. Because neither of them are, like, completely bankrupt. Guanding almost always has economic problems, too. This is all going fairly well. All right. Um, you jerks. Well, I guess I don't have to worry about... Um, Attacking the Yang unit. I guess we don't have to worry about... Well, what the hell is the Yang unit? Ah. So this is you on Shao. Wait, you're also you on Shao. What the hell? I'm confused. You're with you on Shao. Oh, there's more than one Yang unit? <laughs> okay, so... Holy fuck! Okay. You know what this is? This is some... This is a magical anime character bullshit nonsense. I think these, uh... These anime characters, they... Some of them, there's two. There's the... Probably from... I don't know if it's... This is the youngest fleet admiral in the Free Planets Alliance and Supreme Commander. He becomes the youngest person to be promoted as fleet admiral. He later makes peace with Reinhardt. Whatever, whatever, whatever. If you know that anime, great. I don't. Um, this is... This is the same character. His rank is equivalent to that at the beginning of the 13th chapter of the main story. Okay, so this, this, they've literally got... They made more than one um, officer. There's like, you know... I guess it's like... Uh, season 1 Sailor Moon uh, versus like the last season when... She's got extra moon crystal power or what the fuck ever. But yeah, it's... Uh, this is like... It's... Serena versus Princess Serenity up here, and uh, one of them's working for Gong Jing Zan, and the other one's working for Yuan Shu. Either way, fucking Gong Jing Zan is messing my shit up. He decided to attack Nan Pi, which has caused Yuan Shu to back off of trying to take Ping Yuan, and uh, it no longer seems practical that we're gonna we'll take Fu Yang, but uh, Lu Bu will end up retreating to Ping Yuan. We're not gonna capture him. Or Zhang Liao or Jiao Chan. There's a bunch of officers there that I would have liked to capture. We are not going to be capturing them. Well, that being the case... Uh, do we care about taking Bai Ma? I guess we might as well. Because we are... Uh, 
We have Lihu. We'll have, we'll grab by mod just as a way to, um, I might have to change this up later if it looks like uh, we're slowing down too much, but I think, uh, this is a Lu Bu unit, isn't it? Yeah. Lu Bu is going to fight off uh, the, the Swarm Brothers here and save his city, but I'll swing up by by mod. It might be a waste of time. I might be better off just charging straight through. But there's a chance that this will give Ping Yuan time to get uh, taken over by Yuan Shao, which would be handy. We want to take the last Lu Bu city, and there's no way we're taking Ping Yuan for ourselves. It's too far away. There's too many other things going on. If Liu Bei marches out of P to attack Puyang right now, uh, then I guess we'll change course and forget Bai Ma. It's turned into quite a lengthy turn. Sure, what's going on here? Any chance that uh, kind of nice if the Maz would start fighting with uh, Li Jui? I don't think we're going to be that lucky. All right. I think we could have, uh, I think we can have this going for a few turns. A little surprised to see that you're not, uh, an overseer somewhere. Hold on. pretty good. I, I have some faith that that might be the correct choice. I guess we're actually working on troops for the first time in a long ass time and that's why. Okay, Falzer would be good at this. I guess he is uh, the best guy for the job right now. We got 4,000 gold. I'll just have to keep an eye out and see if um, that starts to plummet. But it should be looking at the core. Okay. I think Shochun is probably the place having the money uh, problems. After all, it's got a lot of officers in it right now. That we'll have another city to send them to fairly soon. Twenty-five thousand troops in Shotun. Hey, maybe I should be marching for Xiao Pi right now. That would certainly be a way to stop them from um, thinking about trying to take Pu Yang if I just started attacking Xiao Pi. Yippee would be able to do anything about it either. You know what? Let's do it. I keep saying I'm going to take a few turns to have some peace, but um, let's go on the attack. 
Well, we're not friends with Liu Bei right now, are we? I wonder what our actual uh, relationship is. It's been a while since I've thought about any of this. Hostile enemies with uh, Sun Tzu. So I either need to get ready for war or... We got a long time before we got to worry about it, though. Enemies with Yuan Shao. Friendly with Li He. Normal, normal. Enemies with Gong Rong. I don't really care about you guys so much. But we're only hostile with Liu Bei. Well, you know what? I don't really feel like trying to make peace with them right now. So let's go take a shit. We got a bunch of officers here. Send Bobo and... Wow, they gave him lethal 12,000 troops. Um, I think we could... Uh, Earl King and Li Jingming. Either one of these guys could go... Send a healthy healthy uh, siege unit out there with a catapult. Then again, so could I. Here's what we're gonna do. You don't need to have 12,000 troops in your unit. That's getting a bit silly. Fish is difficult to activate. Assault and defense are high. down to 5k each. supposed to be a catapult. Alright, so we got Earl King and Li Jingming each having a catapult unit with about 15, not about, exactly, 15,000 troops uh, we'll put uh We'll put Lethal in Fish, and we'll have Bobo and Jihao Dune both in Arrow so that they can activate their super awesome tactics. And they're going to head. I will, in the next turn here, I will break them out into more individual 
type stuff. Uh, but they are going to attack. In that case, I'll be off. Yes, of course. You have nothing to worry about. Jalpi. Liu Bei and uh, Kong Rong, I believe, are allies, so don't really have to worry too much about not getting their officers cornered. Um, but Guan Lang is just going to keep put. Um, I suppose I should be attacking Xia Pi at the same time. Matter of fact, you know what the smart thing to do would be? What kind of unit is this? This is... I mean, what... Um, What, what formation, I mean to ask, when they're not in the boats. Salt ship formation, never mind, I can't even see. Um, I have her retreat. And once, uh, once the troops are back in Guanling, well, I suppose I could have her head for like you tie, but I mean, I'd be better off just. I don't think they're going to attack Port Haiji in the middle of all this. And even if they did, I'll just take it right back because what I want to do is get a, get an army marching on Jiao Pi to prevent them from trying to take Puyang. Um, and we'll worry about Jiao Pi later. It's like part of me is like, ah, oh, attack Jiao Pi right now. And I'm like, nah. I don't have the same kind of massive troop advantage. Um, at Guanling over GAP. This isn't a good time to sell food, even though I just started. Because uh, we could run out of supplies here. And matter of fact, let's get ahead of that. Let's have. Gold-wise, you guys are doing okay. I really wish there was a quick and easy way to just transport half. But it's always, it's min-max. It's kind of annoying. I think we got enough troops coming out of Shochun, but they are going to get in trouble with supplies eventually. Xu Chang has 77k supplies? Well, Xu Chang is probably going to be... It'll need its supplies eventually, because I think eventually we're going to march out of Xu Chang to attack Luo Yang. So I won't, uh, I won't deplete its supplies right now. Okay, boy, this has all been one turn, hasn't it? Um, rather anxious to see how all this is going to go, because you are going to be outnumbered, particularly if uh, all the Ma forces decide to fight you. Is it time to... If I got... Oh, yeah, that's right. I had a bunch of officers. Um, this place is brand new. It's not been built up really at all. To get somebody. Um, if they're saying to use Shingen, and they're probably right. Um, who else do I have as an option, though? I don't know why I even went to the auto if I was gonna. Like, I don't have a created officer here that's just like. 
I'm itching for a chance to let them do something cool. So we'll go ahead and use Shingen. Fish is, uh... <laughs> so they gave Shingen Takada, like the, one of the greatest military tacticians of his age, uh, his default uh, formation is the one where you don't really use tactics. Boost abilities in mountains or woods. You know what? That makes sense here. It's a lot of food. If he gets to be part of this fight, he'll be not in the woods anymore, but... I want to make sure that, uh... He's, he's going to be in a... He's in a formation... It's the snake for me. I shouldn't have used snake. Because now that I think about it... He's probably going to... If he sees combat, it'll probably be fighting in the plains around Chang'an, but... It's going to take him a while to get all the way up here, but he might eventually have to be part of this fight. I'm sort of sending him out there as like a precautionary measure, I guess. Alright, um, unless I'm marching out more troops, which... You know what you're supposed to be doing. Uh, I need to just go ahead and get my freaking orders used. People! Is there anybody that we need to hire? We don't have any more, you know, prisoners right now to, to mess around with. Shingen would be nice, but by the time we get there, they will have uh, rewarded him and gotten his loyalty back up, probably. If we want... If we gave all the gold, He would be offended. What if we gave him almost all of our food? That would work, but it would leave us with no freaking food. Okay, looks like we have a we have to give Sun Tzu a massive gift to get him to chill out. But once we do, I think it normalizes. I think a thousand gold every month uh, will just gradually work him towards happy with us. But the very first one we give him is going to be 8 bajillion gold, because he hates our guts so freaking much. Um, suggestions... I'm not going to worry about that. 500 gold to confuse that unit. Yeah. Because that would allow... Uh, that would make it easier for Full Panzer to get out. Banquet! Banquet. I don't care about banquets right now. Overseer proposals. Let's go to... How many people need to be rewarded before I think about a banquet? Everybody's already over 96, so... I don't think it's worth it to do a banquet anywhere, either. Alright, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to call it a video. Uh, between videos, I will 
go through the boring menuing that is getting idle officers searching so that we get something out of those orders. And when we come back next time, uh, there's a lot of combat going on in different places. So hopefully we'll be able to keep up with it. See you then.